Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to show you quickly how I'm going to be making a coffin out of a cardboard box, relatively easy and cheap, for this two to three foot skeleton Halloween decoration prop. These props can be found pretty much everywhere this time of year for under $20, and this one I think I got at Dollar General or something like that for about 10 bucks. So yeah, it's a pretty reasonable little prop and I wanted to make sure that I showed one with no tools. I could make it out of something that I probably already have, which is a cardboard box. And I'm not even going to go I'm not even going to remove any of this tape or anything. It's just going to be a really quick and dirty prop. I wanted to also note that I will be making a one by four pine coffin for this skeleton. I just wanted to make sure that I included a, a more simple version um, for anybody out there who doesn't have like a miter saw or a nail gun. This one you could pretty much do with only tape and some spray paint and you'll have an interesting looking prop. So let's get into it. So here we are with the finished paper mache coffin. Well, the finished structure of the coffin. I still need to do some painting and detail work, but the paper mache is finished. It takes about two days to let this uh, paper mache dry out. Well, two, t two days total for each side, because I, I do one half and then I flip it over and do the back half. I was able to actually do this uh, in less than 24 hours because I paper mache the interior and all the sides. Uh, in the evening, I let it dry overnight with a fan. And then in the afternoon, I early afternoon, I paper mache the back, dried it with the fan, and it was solid by... Uh, the, you know, the next day, about 24 hours later. And so if you're in a pinch, you could do it. Um, not super structural or anything. It does give the, the cardboard some more rigidity. You could go as far as doing like a poor man's uh, fiberglass, which is like a cotton uh, material, a shirt or any sort of cotton with wood glue. That'd give it a little bit more structure. But I don't need it to be, you know, too too uh, structural or durable. It's just going to be on my front my front doorstep essentially, and I'm going to paint it. Um, the The paper mache is really to give the cardboard some uh, dimension and a level of continuity because if you just have the the cardboard and try to paint over it with the tape and whatnot, it's going to be pretty apparent that it's just a taped up piece of cardboard. With this, it kind of gives it a very odd and creepy look. Almost looks like a animal hide, but I really like it. And I haven't seen any examples of a paper mache coffin before, um, at least not this scale. And I think it's just a, an interesting project. You don't, there's a reason why you don't see much paper mache because it, it's a little bit more um, artistic and takes a little bit more time and I guess uh, dexterity really um, because I could have built this with pine pretty easily and gotten something more structured but I actually like the way this looks. It looks more organic and just odd so I'm excited to paint it and show you what that looks like and yeah hopefully this helps some people and there's other people out there that are willing to, to turn a old, uh, I think it was a Christmas tree or something, 
Oh, is an artificial plant. Christmas tree box would work perfect for this, especially if you have a Halloween Christmas tree box. But I know that a lot of people reserve their boxes for trees to, to store them back up. This one happened to be an Amazon box and it now is a pretty cool dimensional coffin. So yeah, let's paint it up and I'll show you the end results. Okay, so here's the finished paper mache coffin. And like I said, it's perfect for under a porch like this, a small porch. But my, I guess what I found is it's probably better off out in the yard because you can't really see it from the street that well down here since it's so small. But uh, if you have like a closer setback to the, to the street or sidewalk, this would probably be perfect. I threw some Dollar Tree cobwebs in there and made it look really cool. I might light this thing up today to see if I can make it more visible from the street uh, and set it up higher, uh, higher than these urns with the topiaries in them. This is another video that I have coming about the topiaries because underneath are actually like a, a green topiary. So I haven't really seen many people decorate them like this. Um, so yeah, this is the paper mache coffin. I did a little bit of weathering on the skeleton, nothing crazy, um, but it looks pretty cool and it looks like it pull, got pulled right out of a crypt. So that's it. Hopefully helped you out and you got some ideas from it. Like I said, I don't know if I would do the same technique if I was putting it out in the elements, but um, very cool for a, a porch step and yeah, it looks awesome. Looks more authentic than a wood coffin, I would say. So that's pretty much it for this one. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to go out there and create your own adventure however you can. Spread some positivity. I'll see you in the next one.